Hello everyone, welcome to the session. So this side Priya Bhatia and in this video we will talk about the basics of machine learning. So let's get started. We will try to understand what is machine learning all about, why we are studying the concepts of machine learning, what's the motivation behind that and at the end of the session we will try to see that what are the challenges that we usually have in this domain of machine learning. So I hope that you all are excited with me to start this amazing journey. So let's get started. The very first thing uh, with which we will start is the intro part. After that, we will talk about how many different types of machine learning do we have. Then we will talk about applications followed by the challenges that we have in machine learning domain. At the very end, we will try to see what is the future of machine learning and uh, the conclusion behind that, okay? So without wasting any time, let's try to deep dive into the concepts of machine learning and for that we need to first of all understand what is machine learning all about right so rather than just reading out the explanation and definition of that let me try to explain to you this via one simple diagram on my screen so that you will be easily able to understand the core idea behind the concept of a machine learning okay so whenever we are talking about machine learning you will always heard this term that it is a subset of ai so there are three things which you will very widely listen. One is AI, one is machine learning that we will discuss in this amazing course. And the last one is something that you will listen quite frequently is deep learning. So when you are talking about AI, it's a bigger circle. It's a bigger circle where we are talking about end-to-end -end system, end-to-end -end system, which is equally intelligent just like a human being. Here we are talking about end-to-end -end system which is highly intelligent as the human intelligence. So the system or you can say machine which is having an intelligence just like a human being. Okay? Means it is having a power to take the decisions. Intelligence just like i would say human beings in a layman term we can say that particular kind of a architecture that particular kind of a system is something or a machine is something which we can say is a ai based machine for example uh, the robots let's say if the robots are doing and taking a decisions just like a human beings are taking up that's something which you can say is a ai based product fine then what is machine learning so the very first thing which you will observe that it is a subset of AI only. So there is nothing separate as such. When I'm saying AI, the full form I hope everyone knows is artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, right? Now when I'm talking about something called as a machine learning, as I told you, it's a subset of AI. But here the actual work starts by passing the data to the machine so that Machine will take a decision without any human intervention. So here we will be having the historical data. And with the help of that historical data, we will try to train the models. So training is being done on these historical data to get the future predictions. For example, let's say ki I want to predict the price of a house. In that scenario, what you are doing? You are maybe giving the uh, past historical data of the similar houses in that similar location where your house is located to the model. Then you are training your model means your model is learning and then it is giving me the prediction that what should be the optimal price of that particular house in the current scenario. So everything in machine learning works around with respect to the data set that we have. Okay? So whatsoever task we usually do in machine learning everything is you will see, you will observe, rotates around the historical data. Then after that, there comes something called as a concept of deep learning. After some point of time, researchers have analyzed that the machine learning models are not perform performing well on a very huge amount of data. And as we move ahead in 2000s, data kept on increasing, increasing and increasing. So researchers, developers 
have faced the challenges in terms of the accuracy and what they have observed they observed they tried to plot a graph between the size of the data and the performance size of data versus the performance and what they have observed is that as the data size kept on increasing performance kept on increasing but after some point of time it becomes stagnant like this this is what happened when they are applying the concepts of machine learning algorithms they are applying a concepts of machine learning algorithms now in this, as this is the very first session it might be the case that you will not able to get each and everything but if you will stay tuned with me until the very end of the session in this course i am pretty sure that you will be able to get something amazing out of this particular course right uh, i am trying to explain in a very layman term but still it might be the case that there are few key terms which you will not able to understand because you are at a beginner level so please wait for a while in the upcoming sessions i'll talk about each and everything in a very great detail so that everyone will be able to understand the literal meaning of each and everything with its mathematical intuition with its implementation so nothing you have to worry about okay let's move ahead now what happened so what they have observed is that's where the concepts of deep learning algorithms emerged and what they told us as we are increasing the data now the performance kept on increasing exponentially so this is where deep learning algorithms plays a very very important role now what is there in this deep learning algorithms let's try to understand that deep learning algorithms now what researchers have observed that in order to get a good performance what we want is that that huge amount of data my model will be able to understand pretty well right so deep learning algorithms works like the way our human mind works our human brain works and that's where our human brain works so researchers have designed a neural network neural network where we have a collection of neurons just like in our human brain we have neurons with the help of which we will be able to memorize the things right similarly in deep learning there is a concept of neural networks came into picture just like a mimic of a human brain which helps the model to retain its memory to understand that huge amount of data as well and to give the better performance so that's where the complete generation of you know deep learning based algorithms came into picture now in this complete course our complete focus is all about the concepts of machine learning see all these are the different different domains apart from this we have nlp domain and then you have heard the name of data scientist position that's where the concepts of stats and other things are also required but specifically in this course per se my focus is to talk about the machine learning domain which you can see is a subset of complete ai domain so our complete focus with respect to the algorithms that we have with respect to the types of machine learning algorithms that we have will be around uh, only and only in the machine learning part right so i hope that now you will be able to understand what is the core idea behind machine learning so let me read this statement for you machine learning is a subset of ai that we have just now discussed that involves the use of algorithm and statistical models that we will discuss in the upcoming sessions what are those models to enable computer systems to learn from data without being explicitly programmed this is one of the uh, important point to note here that whatever things we are doing in machine learning we are trying to learn from data we are meaning human uh, human beings are trying to deliver the data set and machines are trying to learn from that data set to give the predictions without being explicitly programmed this technology has revolutionized various industries so here uh, when we will move ahead towards the applications of machine learning i'll talk about that how this technology of machine learning helps in healthcare finance transportation and many other domains the key advantage of machine learning is its ability to process large amount of data quickly and accurately enables the organizations to make data driven decisions and improve their operations by saying that 
there is a limit of this large amount of data as i said that after some point of time those machine learning algorithms also starts failing and that's where the importance of deep learning algorithms came into picture so i hope that now this part is pretty much clear to everyone in the upcoming session now i will uh, move ahead and will talk in a very great detail about the types of machine learning algorithms that we have so i hope that this very first session where i have talked about the concepts of what is machine learning how this machine learning is different from ai and deep learning is pretty much clear to everyone if you still have any sort of confusion do let me know with this i'll see you all in the very uh, next video where now we will talk about the types of machine learning algorithms that we have bye bye everyone and see ya